Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a bit of a demo on um, what not to do with your chainsaw. I'm not going to do it with it running, um, I'm just going to point out what not to do. I'll give you a, a demo and a bit of a description about why um, it's a problem and what can go wrong. I see a lot of people giving instructional videos on uh, chainsaws, they never seem to talk about what not to do. They're always showing you how to do things. Good boy, Flash. Never cut, never use your saw when your dogs are around. <laughs> Although, the sound of the engine tends to keep these guys away. No engines today. Um, in particular today, I'm going to be talking about this bit up here. From about there to around to here is the most dangerous part of a chainsaw and you never want to touch anything with that. And I'll show you why. You imagine if you come along like this and just whack it straight into the wood. You think that's a pretty crazy thing to do. Who'd want to do that? And I'll show you in a minute why that suddenly seems like a good idea. But uh, what would happen is as you hit the wood like that, the blade is going around this way extremely fast. It would tend to throw up um, the saw. Normally, if you touch a saw here, it, it pulls it away from you. You might want to cut underneath a branch to stop the uh, bark stripping off and then you'd be coming underneath this way and that's going to tend to push the saw towards you. If you're right back up here, you've got a fairly good control over it and, and it's not going to you know, attack you. But when you touch it here, what happens is the saw pushes back towards you and bites in even harder and flicks up this way. Now, as it flicks up, it's heading straight for your head. What happens, it's no coincidence the break is where it is. As, as the saw pulls back towards you and starts heading upwards, it's so fierce it can rip it out of your hand. And as it pulls out, you, your hand hits the break and stops the blade. At this point, your life's on the line because it's heading towards your head. And you want to hope that break works. And by the time it gets here, that the blade has stopped. So watch out for that bit. It can happen if you, if you turn around and hit a, a branch of uh, your, the firewood that you're cutting up or whatever, that can uh, contact this part of the blade. So you need to be really careful about that. When it starts to sound like a good idea, you saw me the other day, I cut a, a mortise out of another post, a square hole going straight down. You think, oh yeah, why don't you use your chainsaw, Dave? Come along, straight down. Cut it out this way cut it out that way but all of a sudden you're using the dangerous part of the saw and what can happen is as you're cutting down in saw flicks around pulls it out of your hand up it comes like this and it's completely out of control when that happens it is a, uh, a valid thing to do and there is a technique to do it I've never tried it I'm not game to try it so I'm not going to show you guys if you want to do something like that um, I suggest you go and find someone who knows how to do it and watch his demo. But for now, um, I like to do mortises in other ways. There's more than one way to do it. And keep my head in one piece. That's all I've got to say about that, guys. Yeah, watch out for the point. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Can't really see you. Try and stay calm, guys.